Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Ground Fandango. Uh, I'm Noir and I'm playing perhaps my most favourite game I've made, as I said, Grim Fandango. Um, Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? Mm, no. It, just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. The Grim Reaper tends intimidating. Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. Oh, that ain't happening. Oh, you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. Excess me, why we call I need it more the land of the dead. On the inside. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? I mean, that'd be Maybe good. try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld the land of eternal rest in four minutes instead of four years but very few people qualify let's take a look at your record see i don't understand is it money or mm -hmm. is it just you know how well you did in life like if you're good well the bad news is the train so appears to be Jesus. just out of your reach but Quite i still fair, got a couple of good, tricks so up my sleeve tight. here mm -hmm. yeah ha Yes, that's the ticket. Just know the, the ticket you wanted line. on the number nine. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks. As well, was late. He's never explained what he's oh, done. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low life cases like yours, Menso. But it's never important. Hey Manny, the boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Stuck in Especially a dead end job. Like I can that. understand that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. I need a saint to die. I need a literally dead hmm. saint. ¿Qué es esto? So yeah, here's the start of the game. We are stuck in a dead end job. Um, oh, well, a job is more like, as you said, community service. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Ooh. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Yeah, I'm on it. Whatever you say, Hiffy. And if you didn't understand, Manny speaks Spanish. So I won't understand a word they say. So yeah, I, I'm very excited to start playing this game. Uh, Grim Fandango, I, as I said, is one of my most favourite games ever. Um, Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. <laughs> um, it's, it's funny, it's got a great story. Um, it's, it's generally something I feel... If you have... Thanks for letting me know. If you have access to the game... I'd recommend playing it for yourself. I mean, get off my video. Go, go away. We don't want you here. Like, I mean, if you want, if you want to watch this video instead, that's absolutely fine. Um, I, I unfortunately, I have my nest rambling over it. So if that's not to your favour, please, just on you go. No, no hard feelings. It's not for everyone. So I, I probably won't go too far into the game as well. So you'll probably miss, like, uh, not too far in the game. I mean, like, I won't go out of my way. I'll probably just follow the story. There's a lot of just dialogue is missable but Manny what are you doing just marking cards honey yeah. 
That's not too important. But well, it's important to the feel of the game. <laughs> the other thing I forgot to mention as well is the music in this game is also fantastic. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's closed. It's made by Tim Schafer, who also had a hand in Book Island. Hey! Service! And hey, who the? Tim gets a lot of black and, and stuff I can't do. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect. Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. And miss you? But you're like one of the best characters. Uh, but yeah, Tim Schafer does get a lot of flag. But these games are phenomenal. I love these games. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? What? Yeah, wasn't that nice? No. No. Um... Fun, fun story about this option as well. Um, when he says Glottis, Glottis, is that a German name? Uh, I'll go for now. Glottis? Glottis? Is that a German name? Oh no, my roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Mm, not get the job you want because there's no available positions. Like, yeah, I can understand that as well. But anyway, yeah, sorry about that part there. Um, one of my friends is German, um, and she was playing for this game, uh, and she's actually told me that that dialogue changes, obviously, in the German version, because I don't imagine to be like, um, I, I don't really speak German. But I, I think it was something like, is it Swedish or something? Um, so that's a nice wee touch. Uh, Nice hut. nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fume. Hmm, can't imagine. <laughs> Smokers are jokers, Manny. I might say that as a smoker. Uh... Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No, 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 no. I don't ride them, just wrench them. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Great insight, Gloss. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. No, you're not. Okay, see you later, chicken. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey! That gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'm, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Later, Gloss. Alright, okay. Thought I was throwing tank controls. For some reason, Tim thinks that the best way of playing this was to have tank controls. And I keep thinking tank controls are on here. Uh, they're not like I'm playing it. It's like if I move right, I'm pressing right now, left, up, down. But it used to be like you'd have to have to walk to that and turn around like that. It was like kind of like Resident Evil kind of controls, and oh, it made me so awkward to control. There's also a mouse and stuff, but I, I, I do actually like playing it this way. Uh, I also wind up clicking accidentally when I'm ever playing this game off the screen, 
So let's not do that. Uh, the biggest thing move, I think, was um, I, I, I like to have uh, like, the, the games like uh, like hundred percent like trophies or achievements on Steam. Like Steam doesn't matter. For this game, I wanted it, so I have got all the achievements in this. Uh, but it's involved having played the game twice because since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Thank you, that dead bread. Um, but because uh, maybe the game defaults as tank controls, it meant I didn't realise there were tank controls, and one of the trophies is to actually complete the game in tank controls, so I had to complete it twice, which is fine. I mean, that partly according to my Steam, it's about 10 hours I played this, so I mean, I completed the game twice in 10 hours, so that's not too bad. Um, sorry, I've, I've lost track of where I was going. Uh, so we're heading up here, going to scale the ropes. Like in gym class. There is just so much about this game I absolutely fucking love. Even the dead pigeons. I think that was a wee seven glitch. So I'm sneaking in. It here. looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. So, uh, this is what he's already got uh, set. So he's not actually in the office, but he's got an automatic system to talk to his like, secretary ever. So he's got not now ever. But I'll have to wait. I'm in the middle of a very important meeting. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Whatever it is, I will have to wait. Ah, cripes, Eva. Just say it yourself, will you? I'm busy, which is the one we want. Because we need that signed. <laughs> Eva, please, I need a little time alone. I'll so. just change his auto response here. Eva, please. I need a little time alone! The fact he recorded that is quite impressive. Tell them the checks aren't here yet. I'm on the phone. If you buzz me again, I swear I'll jump out the window. I... <laughs> Are you trying to lose your job? So yeah. So we just Ah, need... crap, Zeva! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Yeah, I got it. So we head on out the window. I don't imagine I would ever do anything of this kind of caliber if I was trying to get ahead in my job. For one, I'm too shit scared of heights. But I mean, he's dead, so that's not going to be an issue. Because what's going to happen is going to break his bones. But I could do actually. See, I, I don't know how difficult the puzzles are now, like, going back and looking at it, because it's never, I don't think it's actually that hard, but then I've played this game so many times, and I can't remember if I needed the guide or not, because, like, when it came to these games, I was just, I was like, a hey, shit bag when it came to it, like, I needed to, I didn't know what I was doing, so I was like, oh, can you do this for me, this, but then, that just ruins it all, so that's why I try not to do it anymore, uh, but, uh, Oh, Manny, just take the sentences one word at a time. You'll get it. Oh, is that the note? So that's the note. I need the water order. Give us bread. That wouldn't bread. be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. There we go. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Oh, well, that's funny how that worked out. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crossword puzzle he's got in there today. I can understand that. Nothing gets me angry than the really Eva, shit puzzle. I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind special. of power. Well, we all have our secrets. We all have our skeletons in the closet. It must be nice being a, uh, a skeleton and not have to worry about, you know, like, lung cancer and stuff. Because, you know, you don't have any lungs. In fact, we don't have any of those organs, like, muscles. How do they move? How, how are they speaking? Hey, I look good in this, don't I? That's what you're stashing really, yeah, well, so. They say black is slimming. Mm. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! 
flashing lights. Just to give an idea of what else they I could have walked faster than this. Tim Schafer's done uh, things. Like equally, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Broken Age. Uh, they've also done Psychonauts, which is great. He also held one of the best games ever. I've not finished it, but I played it and it's fantastic. Uh, honestly, I, I feel like most of the games would be great. Like, Broken Age was good for the start, like, the second act was kind of shit. But I liked it as it was. Uh, the living yeah. still give me the creeps. Okay, so, um, this freak the fuck out of me when I was younger. What I have to say, this food looks pretty good. Can I? In this it? world, all I can do is look, smell, and reap. Look at these poor saps. So it's shit the fear like of that. death that makes monsters of us all. Boo. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. If I scare them to death, then they'll become a customer. But I'll get nailed with a conflict of interest rap. Psst, it's me. Death. I'll see you soon, okay? Oh, yes. I know you can't hear me, but try to feel what I'm about to say deep down in your soul. Don't eat the gazpacho. Let's get our safe out. So yeah, this is a really good take on how, like, death really works. I mean, obviously when it say it really works. That we don't know, but it's how it really works. Nice bathroom! Fuck you too. But we offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Aye, aye, aye. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster. You want it? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, oh yeah. boy. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Do blowers. Pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. <laughs> no, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. Oh, that was unfortunate too. When I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street. No job. No way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Yeah. Who you calling a scumbag? Why I on a... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. And um, yeah. So basically what we need to do now is oh, Domino's in. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat the cell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, hey, hey Callie, hey, how I'll you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? Uh. I got two nuns. I got two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. 
I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. How did he drink? Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Let's just have a wee look through this office. That's some premium-looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Ooh, look, look. Bravo. So, like, if this was I a think Don would call the company shrink if I left through the window. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. But, I mean, wouldn't the liquid technically just pour out of the skeleton, you know? But, you know what, I'll go for a logic. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. There was a company limit. Not portable. Right, well, what I'll do is... I'm going to leave it here. Uh, just so... Uh, I'll catch you guys later on, and we're going to try and go through this game. Uh, I don't think it'll take too reasonably long. There won't be a lot of episodes, because I think I know this a lot more better than Monkey Island. Which will hopefully come back. I've just had a few issues with the audio of the game. So... Until then guys, I shall catch you later. Uh, again, if you want to see more of this, just subscribe. I'll try and finish this game off like as soon as possible and try and get Monkey Island going as well. But, uh, did you just litter him up? Like, you... Manny, you can't do that. Right, bye.